Old Union Church has just gone through a time like never before in its 214 year history, two months without any worship face to face. Fortunately, we've been able to worship virtually. This Sunday, we're gonna be worshiping together, but only with certain restrictions. So this video is to let you know what you can expect when you come to church on Sunday. Let's imagine you parked in the upper lot and you're coming into the entrance by the stairs. As you come down, there will be one or two people standing a safe distance away from the door to greet you, to make sure you um, know exactly what we're doing. And as you come in, you'll see that we have some guidelines for what we're asking worshipers to do, and I'll post that in a different place. Uh, we, our goal is to keep everyone safe and to make sure we have as few surfaces as possible that need to be re-sanitized. So we're going to ask you not to use the water fountains. Uh, the restrooms will be open, but we're going to ask that you refrain from using them if at all possible, again, to cut down on the um, cleaning that needs to be done. In the same way, the kitchen will be closed up. Um, the fellowship hall will be available for conversation, but we're encouraging you to stay six feet apart from everyone as you do so. Um, coming in a course through the fellowship hall, um, unfortunately, this is one time when you can't just pop in and say hello to the pastor. We're going to be asking everyone to be wearing masks and a glove. If you do not have a mask or a glove, we'll have them available here in the lobby. Uh, also hand sanitizer if you need it. Uh, I went past the sign up uh, station. Uh, we're not going to be having any sign ups. Um, if you're going to take something, make sure it's the only thing you're taking such as, for example, the uh, daily devotionals. All of the doors will be open so that we do not need to worry about touching doorknobs. Uh, you will not pick up your bulletin in the lobby. The bulletins will be placed at the seats in the pew so that um, that, will reduce human con hum uh, that will reduce contact. Uh, and it'll be placed a couple of days in advance so that uh, it can, quote, decontaminate. We will not be passing the plates during the worship service for the offering, so there will be an offering bowl available in the lobby, uh, and you can use that either on your way into worship or on your way out. And similarly, of course, uh, we're asking you not to go down into the basement. So as you come into the church, as you normally would, um, again, you'll notice that the library is also closed. Uh, unfortunately, Zeke will not be here to hand you a bulletin. Uh, and then you'll come into the sanctuary, which looks a little bit more colorful than usual. When you arrive to church, you should know which group you are part of. Let's say at this point, you're part of group A. So as you come in, you will look for a pew that is assigned to your group. And let's just assume you decide to pick this pew right here. So as you come in, you will notice that there is a post-it note on your seat and there'll be another post-it note at the other end of the pew. If you choose to have this as your seat, please write your name on the post-it note. And we do have pencils available in the pews uh, for you to do so. You'll notice, of course, that we took out the cushions, uh, the hymnals and the Bibles. Again, that's to reduce the amount of sanitizing that we'll need to do. If there are two of you from a household coming together, you obviously will be able to sit together uh, but if there are two people sitting at the other end of the pew, and there are two of you, you will need to find a different pew to sit in. In other words, we don't want more than three people in a pew unless there, we, you're a family of three or more, uh, in which case you'll have the entire pew to yourselves. Uh, the same thing is true over in the annex. You'll notice we piled up all of our nice comfy chairs. Uh, again, that's to san uh, make it easier to sanitize. If, again, you're part of Group A and you would like to sit in the annex, you can pick one of the chairs that is labeled Group A. And again, the same thing, there will be a pencil and a post-it note on your chair that you can write your name on. Now, if you are not part of Group A, uh, say you're part of Group B, when you arrive, there will be post-it notes at the places where Group B can sit. And then, of course, the same thing for Group C. Right now, we're just set up for the Group A worshipers because that's the first group that will be coming in. Uh, so all you need to do is look for a seat that has a post-it note. 
Uh, the windows are closed right now, but we will plan on having the windows open uh, unless it's absolutely freezing cold uh, in order to uh, increase the air circulation. Uh, we will, of course, as I said, be worshiping with masks and gloves. This is going to feel rather odd, but I'm hoping it will feel a little bit less odd than what we've been going through over, for the last two months. Uh, many of you are choosing not to come to worship in person, uh, and we certainly respect that. We don't want anyone to feel pressure that need to worship with us in person. Uh, so virtual worship will be available, uh, as always, 10 o'clock on Sunday mornings. I look forward to seeing those of you who choose to worship with us, and um, I hope you all stay safe. God bless.